where to live if you're moving to Scarborough, Ontario. I'm about to shed some light on this for you right now. Scarborough is downtown Toronto's eastern neighbour and over 630,000 people call this place home. Now while Scarborough is a suburb and entity all on its own, it really does have many different pockets and neighbourhoods, each offering very distinct feels, features and lifestyles. What I'm about to do today is take you through the top five neighbourhoods in Scarborough, so if you are thinking about moving here, you're going to want to stick around for this video. Let's get after it right now. What's up everybody? If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in Toronto and the surrounding areas like right here in Scarborough, then you've come to the right place. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and you tap the bell for notifications because this is exactly where you've got to be. My name is Christina and I'm part of the Living in Toronto team. I'm a local real estate agent in Toronto and in the surrounding greater Toronto area. And every day I help people just like you and you and you and you find their dream home and I absolutely love it. So if that's you, if you're thinking about buying or selling in the Toronto or greater Toronto area, please make sure you reach out to me. My information is down below. Myself and the Living in Toronto team would be happy to help you make that move to Toronto as smooth as possible. What I'm gonna be doing today is taking you on a little tour of a place called Scarborough, Ontario. Scarborough is the eastern neighbor to the city of Toronto and it's located about 25 kilometers from the downtown Toronto core. Scarborough is known for its diversity, really great amenities, affordability, awesome cuisine options, and it's beautiful green spaces like right here at the Guild Park. And it's also home to the outdoor paradise oasis, the Scarborough Bluffs. It's definitely a beautiful place. And if you're moving to Scarborough, what you may have already noticed is that it is a fairly large place. It's over 180 square kilometers in total, meaning there are a ton of different pockets. So if you're thinking about moving into the area, you might be wondering where exactly you're gonna wind up. If that's you, you're definitely gonna to wanna to stick around for the full video because I'm gonna be taking you through the top five neighborhoods in Scarborough so that if you are coming into the area, you know exactly what to expect when you get here. I'm about to hit up my first stop now, so stick around, come with me, let's get after it. Guildwood is one of the most coveted, sought after neighborhoods in Scarborough and it's so easy to see why. Once you enter into Guildwood through the gates and pillars at the front entrance, what you see is just a gorgeous array of homes, lots of winding streets, beautiful towering trees, and each home here really does have character. The majority of the homes that you'll see here in Guildwood are single family detached homes, lots of bungalows and split levels. And the majority of these homes were built in the 1950s and 60s, but they've been very well taken care of and many of them have actually been renovated. So you get that mix of, you know, that old charm with some newer homes that have been modernized, which is really, really nice. Now I'm just taking a walk down the street here, Guildwood Parkway. So on this street, again, lots of beautiful homes. Just down behind me is the Guildwood Park and Gardens, and we'll take a look there later. But just to give you an idea of some of the homes that you can find here in Guildwood, this home right behind me is currently on the market for 2.588 million. It is a bungalow, three plus one bedroom, three bath, absolutely stunning and entertainer's dream has a huge backyard deck with a covered bar area and it actually backs on directly to lake ontario which is stunning in the inside a lot of you know the the rooms have been renovated the kitchen has been upgraded it has a beautiful waterfall island lots of storage so really just an entertainer's dream so beauty doesn't come cheap though 2.588 million so these are the kinds of homes that you can get here in guildwood it's very easy to see why it is such a sought after beautiful area of Scarborough. Let's talk about green spaces in Guildwood because there's absolutely no shortage of that here. The history of the Guildwood neighborhood in Scarborough actually revolves around a place called the Guild Inn. Today, the purpose of the Guild Inn is a little bit different. It now sits on the Guild Park, which is over 100 acres of you know, parks and gardens overlooking the lake. And a lot of people will you know, host weddings at the Guild Inn. It's often used as, as an event venue these days. But as you can see, it sits on a beautifully manicured park. 
there are still some of the original sculptures from you know the past that are still here so a lot of the residents of the guildwood neighborhood will come to the guild park and gardens just walk around take in the sculptures take in the scenery bring the kids go for a walk on some of the trails it's a beautiful park and definitely adds to the grandeur of this neighborhood getting around in guildwood is no problem at all Right behind me here is the Guildwood GO station. The train is actually just stopped there right now. And that GO train station actually leads directly to Union Station, which is right in downtown Toronto. So for people in the Guildwood area who need to get into the city, maybe for work or for whatever other reason, it's accessible. There are also a few bus routes in the area that lead to the larger subway system. So again, if you're traveling within Scarborough or outside of Scarborough, there are some options for people who are using public transportation. Now, if you are a motorist, Kingston Road is the East and West Road that travels right through Guildwood and actually leads to some of the other major highways in the area. If you're driving by car, you could get into the city in about 30 minutes or so, which makes Guildwood pretty accessible for getting around. Right now, I'm in front of the Guildwood Village Shopping Center, which is a plaza that's actually a staple in this community. Many residents will come here to get, you know, their daily, items completed, checked off their list. There's actually a lot of great things in this plaza here. There's a public library, there's an independent grocery store, you have a travel company, your Tim Hortons for your coffee, lots of little places here. And it's really great to have a plaza right in your neighborhood just for those little day-to-day -day items that you wanna get completed. You don't have to travel really outside of your neighborhood to get things done because you have all of this right behind me to check off all those items. Now, there is a major mall in Scarborough as well called the Scarborough Town Centre. It's about five to six kilometres, about a 15 minute drive from Guildwood. So, you know, outside of this beautiful plaza, you're still pretty proximal, not too far of a drive from that Scarborough Town Centre if you really wanted to get some of those big ticket items checked off your list. But obviously very great to have a local plaza right in your neighbourhood. This Guildwood Village Plaza is also located right next to a couple churches just across the street. Um, and about 100 meters down the road here on Guildwood Parkway is Sir Wilfrid Laurier, which is a secondary school, a public school. And just up the road is a junior school as well. So the plaza is pretty well located in terms of being close by schools um, and other amenities as well. So, you know, with, with all these great amenities, the schools, location, beautiful homes and proximity to the lake, it's so easy to see why Guildwood is one of the most sought after areas in Scarborough. Now we can't talk about top neighborhoods in Scarborough without mentioning Birchcliff Cliffside. Birchcliff Cliffside is the most southwest part of Scarborough and it's actually located closest to the city of Toronto, specifically the beaches area in Toronto. And the reason why Birchcliff Cliffside is such a coveted area, why the homes here are so expensive, is because of you know the homes themselves. There's lots of idyllic homes here, beautiful Cape Cod Edwardian style, big lot sizes, and of course the proximity to Lake Ontario and the Scarborough Bluffs. I'm walking down a street now and it's so nice to see that every home has its own style. Every home looks a little bit different. So you have that those homes with the you know older charming feel as well as a bunch of homes that have been recently renovated. So that mix makes this area just feel so nice. This street that I'm on right now is gorgeous and there's actually a couple homes on the street that are currently on the market. Let's go check out one now. So right here behind me is a home that is currently on the market in Birchcliff Cliffside of Scarborough and it is listed for $1.979 million. It is a three bed plus one and it has five bathrooms in it. All the bathrooms have been beautifully updated. There's huge windows, lots of light, open riser oak staircase and a premium quartz countertop. So like I mentioned, there are lots of those you know, older, charming style homes here in Birchcliff Cliffside, but also a lot of new renovations coming in, just like this one. One thing I've noticed while driving around in Birchcliff Cliffside is the number of basketball nets that I've seen on the streets or on people's driveways. This is a very family friendly neighborhood. So if you're thinking about moving to the area with younger children, this could be the place for you. 
There are also a bunch of elementary schools in the area as well as secondary schools. One of those secondary schools is called Birchmount Park Collegiate Institute and I know that they have a fantastic sports program there. In terms of activities, there are a ton of parks and green spaces in Birchcliff Cliffside, as well as the Birchmount Community Center, which has not only programming for youth, but adults as well. So if you're someone who is thinking about moving to Scarborough and you're bringing your family with you, this could be the neighborhood for you. The Toronto Hunt Club is one of the most notable features of the Birchcliff Cliffside area. It is located just south of Kingston Road and has a beautifully manicured golf course for its members, as well as a clubhouse with various dining options. The property is absolutely beautiful. It's located just south of Kingston Road. In the past though, the Toronto Hunt Club actually had some land that was located north of Kingston Road, which has since, or since was, sold off. So now there's homes in that area that overlook the grounds at the Toronto Hunt Club, which is pretty prestigious. But once again, grounds here are absolutely stunning. In terms of other green spaces or amenities and activities, obviously we have the Scarborough Bluffs that's located as part of Birchcliff Cliffside, just right where Lake Ontario is. And over there, there's a marina, there's a beach and various trails for you to enjoy. So lots of fun activity options here in Birchcliff Cliffside. I'm walking along Kingston Road, which is traveling east and west through Birchcliff Cliffside right now. And there's some homes, some new condo developments, but there's also some, uh, you know, little shops and convenience stores here. You can pick up plants, any little items. Though there is no like major mall right in Birchcliff Cliffside, you do have your little shops and stops along the way, which is really helpful for just, you know, getting those little errands done throughout the day. Right behind me here is the Birchcliff, which is a cute little cafe and food stop here you can get some ice cream if you want a little bite to eat super cute has twinkle lights at night definitely a cute feature here in Birchcliff Cliffside our next top neighborhood in Scarborough is Malvern Malvern is located in the northeast part of Scarborough and relative to some of the other neighborhoods that we've looked at in this video as well as the other neighborhoods in Scarborough that do exist there are many of them uh, Malvern is relatively affordable and because of that it has attracted a lot of newcomers or first-time home buyers. Malvern is a place that has a lot to offer in terms of recreation and extracurriculars specifically for youth. There's the Malvern Recreational Center here which has indoor and outdoor facilities as well as the Malvern Public Library and then east of Malvern on the border you'll find the Toronto Zoo so there are opportunities for you know youth extracurriculars and things to do here. Now in terms of some of the homes that you will find in Malvern there really is a wide variety a very big mix. There are some single-family detached homes, semis, townhouses, low and high-rise apartments and within Malvern itself there are also some subsidized housing communities too so you really do get that mix in terms of types of residences as well as the people that are in Malvern. Let's take a look now at a house that is currently on the market here. This home right behind me is currently on the market listed at $990,000. It is a single family detached home two stories, two levels, and it is a three plus two bed plus five bath home. It has a lot of white finishes offering, you know, a lot of light, that airiness about the place. And it has two separate apartments in the basement with separate entrances, which could be great for additional rental income, could be a really great investment opportunity. Malvern is one of the most culturally diverse areas here in Scarborough and that cultural diversity is definitely evident in the storefronts and the different types of cuisine. A lot of the residents here are of Caribbean descent from Jamaica, Trinidad, Guyana and this place right here, Nicey's Eatery, offers some of that Caribbean cuisine and grocery items. I've heard they have great jerk chicken and patties. I'm about to go get one myself. Malvern Town Center is where you can get your shopping done if you do live here in Malvern. It has a Planet Fitness gym, banking, shopping, grocery options, and even a Service Canada. So if you live in the area, this is where you'd likely come to get all your little errands and shopping done. 
Now, in addition to Malvern Town Center, there are lots of parks and green spaces in the Malvern area, like Malvern Park and Nielsen Park, among a few. And in terms of schools, there are definitely some secondary and elementary schools in the area. So if you are moving in with your family and you have kids that might be attending school, no issues there. There's definitely options for you in terms of schools and education. Time to jump up to the north side, everybody. Right now, I'm in our next top five neighborhood, which is Agent Court, and Agent Court is located in the northwest part of Scarborough. You can have, find a wide array of homes here. It's very diverse here. Agent Court actually has the highest Asian population in the area, and that is incredibly visible through the different signage on storefronts and in plazas. This is also a wonderful school district, lots of green spaces, and a couple shopping centers actually within Agent Court, which is really cool. I'm just walking down the street now, and there are a ton of different single-family detached homes. Some are two-story, there are a lot of bungalows, split-level homes, and as you can tell from, you know, even just looking at the outside of some of these homes, some of them have been renovated and just upkept really, really well. I'm actually approaching a home that's currently on the market right now. It is right behind me here, and it's a three plus two bedroom, four bath home, and it's a raised bungalow on a really, really wide, deep lot, which is really cool. The inside has lots of windows, a ton of natural light. The inside in the kitchen, this has been upgraded, so there are granite countertops. And what's really cool about this home is that an addition was built at the back. So there's wood planks on the ceiling and it has a really like cottagey vibe. Super cool place, currently listed for $1.190 million. And that's just an example of the types of homes that you can find here in Aging Court. Getting around in Agent Court, there are a lot of options here in terms of how you can get around. Of course you can walk. I myself have been doing a lot of walking today. Their walk score is about a 50 though, so I wouldn't say that walking is the best method uh, by which to get around in the city. The bike score here is about a 50 as well. Transit score is an 84 though, I believe. So what that means is that getting around in Agent Court via public transit is pretty good. There is the Agent Court GO train station that's located here and it brings people right to Union Station downtown. So if you're someone who needs to commute into the city of Toronto, like the downtown core for work, that's always an option. As well, there are lots of buses that run through Asian Court, specifically on Shepherd Avenue and Finch Avenue. So if you pick up the bus at any of the stops along those two roads, that can take you directly to the subway. And then from there, you can go north, south, east, west, wherever you need to. For motorists, Asian Court is located conveniently by Highway 401, which brings you east and west. So overall, if you need to travel around in Asian Court, your options are, you know, you have quite a few options and it's pretty good. Scarborough Town Centre is the major mall that is located here in Scarborough. It's right off the 401 and has a ton of different shopping, entertainment and dining options available to residents in the area. Now, even though the Scarborough Town Centre is technically without the Asian Court boundaries, it is worth mentioning that Asian Court is only maybe a 10 minute drive to the Scarborough Town Centre. So there is that easy access to get to that major mall. Now, outside of the Scarborough Town Centre in Asian Court, there are a couple of other mall and shopping options. There's a place called the Asian Court Mall right behind me here. There's a Walmart here, a No Frills, as well as many other stores inside. And there's also a place called Woodside Square, which is a similar type of mall. It has a cinema, it has a public library in it. So, you know, even though there's no major mall here in Asian Court, you do have these two kind of smaller malls, as well as a ton of different plazas that are peppered throughout Asian Court. So if you need to get your shopping done, your errands done, you can definitely do so at one of these many shopping centers or plazas. So fun fact, I'm just walking here along Kennedy Road in Agent Court and I just noticed that over this fence over here, there is a golf course called Tam O'Shanter. It was kind of unexpected for me. Kennedy's a pretty busy road, so I wasn't anticipating stumbling upon a golf course. I'm not much of a golfer myself, but if you are and you live in Agent Court, you can get in a couple of rounds whenever you need to, which is really, really great. 
Access to amenities is super important when choosing your community and the place in which you are going to settle. I want to start by talking about some of the amenities here in Asian Court, specifically schools. So Asian Court is an excellent school district. There are many schools between the Catholic, public and private boards. There's over 10 elementary schools and four secondary schools. So there is that access. There are those options to really, really great educational institutions. Outside of that, there are lots of recreational programs as well. Right behind me is the Asian Court Community and Recreational Center, which offers a ton of programs, not just for youth, but for adults as well. Things like fitness, swimming, and even lawn bowling. So if you're someone who likes to participate in some of those extracurriculars and connect to the community in that way, Asian Court could be the place for you. Outside of that, there are also a ton of different little parks in the area. There's Brimley Woods, Asian Court Park, and Stephen Lee Cock Park. So if you're someone who's very into nature, you're very outdoorsy, like going for walks, or just exploring around in the different, you know, parks, again, Asian Court could be the place for you. Definitely lots to do here in terms of extracurriculars and community options. Welcome to West Rouge, which is Scarborough's most southeastern neighborhood. It is one of the most scenic neighborhoods. I'm just walking around here right now. There's tons of towering trees in the area, winding streets, a real cottagey vibe for sure. Now in terms of where West Rouge is located, it's actually nestled within Lake Ontario and the Rouge Valley. So there's definitely access to green spaces here. It is a very family friendly neighborhood. And in terms of the homes that you can see here, there are lots of single family detached homes, at least on this street that I'm walking on. So a lot of two story bungalows and split levels, but there are some semi detached and townhomes in the area, as well as some newer condo developments as well. Let's take a look at a house that's currently on the market in West Rouge. So this home right behind me is currently on the market for $1.9 million. It's located on a street with tons of towering mature trees in the front yard. It's a four plus one bedroom, four bath, two story home, which has been redone just from top to bottom, finished basement, pot lights throughout, an upgraded kitchen with quartz countertops and just a beautiful deck in the backyard. Perfect for entertaining. So this is potentially your next home, maybe. There are a few options in terms of getting around in West Rouge. So of course, like some of the other neighborhoods that we looked at, there is a GO train station here, Rouge Hills, which can lead passengers directly to downtown Toronto and is very convenient for people who are commuting in and out of the area, maybe for work or leisure. As well, like some of those other neighborhoods, there are some TTC buses that run through West Rouge. And then for motorists, Port Union Road, which is the road that I am on right now, it can lead any driver directly to Highway 401, which is the major east-west highway in the area. So once you access Highway 401, you have some options in terms of where you can drive to. Now, in terms of shopping and getting errands done in West Rouge, there are a few plazas very similar to the one right behind me here. This is Ravine Park Plaza, but there is also Centennial and West Rouge Plaza as well. And between all three of those plazas, you can get your shopping, banking, you know, furniture, anything you really need in terms of errands. So people who do live in West Rouge don't have to travel really outside of the area to get those things done. West Rouge has a variety of recreational opportunities for both youth and adults. For starters, there is the West Rouge Community Center, the Sports and Recreation Center, tennis club, soccer club, and even a canoe club. Fun fact, four of the Canadian paddlers who were in the most recent Olympics actually trained at the Canoe Club right here in West Rouge. In addition to that, there's the Toronto Zoo, which is located just north of West Rouge. Could be a great outing for the kids here. And in addition, because West Rouge does border Lake Ontario from the south, what residents can take advantage of are the waterfront trails, the Rouge Beach, and the Rouge River National Park system, which is where I am right now. It's absolutely beautiful here, lots to take in in terms of nature. So overall, West Rouge really does offer that family-friendly, recreational-based neighborhood feel. That's a wrap, everybody. Those are our top five neighborhoods here in Scarborough. I hope you now have a better sense of what this community has to offer in terms of different types of neighborhoods. As I'm sure you noticed, each of the top five neighborhoods that we did review today offer different styles of homes, 
green spaces, schools, amenities, you name it. Scarborough is really distinct in that way. Each of its neighborhoods has its own flair and style, which is awesome. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, please make sure you give me a shout. All my information is down below. Send me a text, shoot me an email. We can set up a Zoom call, whatever you need. I'd be happy to help you make that smooth move into Toronto and the surrounding areas. Also, make sure that you do watch our other video on the pros and cons of living in Scarborough, just so you have a better sense of what this community does have to offer. Make sure you also like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell for notifications so that you're the first to know when we do drop new videos to the channel. Stay well, stay safe, and I hope to catch you living in Toronto really soon.